So you can see where the land has been completely disturbed. Trees been removed, grasses, everything, soil layers been removed. Then, let me get out of the way of the car here. You turn around. You can see where the grass is starting to grow back up over there. And even a few little pine trees over there are starting to form. Some shrubs back there. So you got a lot of variation right here. We're here in a field of grass. Let's see if you guys can see that well right there. Look at that grass. So this is a stage of the succession that we were talking about. You can see lots of grasses in here. You got nice flowers in there. Now you got a little shrub action growing right here too. So we're starting to get out of this stage and into another one. So yeah, there's a, another nice view of that field there. Another field with the shrubs growing. We've got a little tulip poplar, a deciduous tree growing in there as well. They're usually the first ones to start grow tall, but look at the flowers. Yeah, it's a nice transition here. You can see like the mowed lawn over here versus that. So this and this would look the same if they didn't mow. We got some vultures flying by. Catching thermals, rising up a little bit. Nice little black vulture there. All right, here we see where the pine have taken over. In the pine, you might be able to see a few deciduous trees starting to appear. Yeah, right in here. But all these other ones would be the coniferous pine coming through. See some moss, some clover growing in here. I haven't seen any lichen yet. It's a good example of an area that was just recently barren and how it starts to come back. Watch out for that poison ivy over there. See some of the older trees here. There's a 
few young trees trying to stretch through and reach the top. Anywhere there's a hole for sunlight, little trees like this will come right up. See all the dead logs that are great for habitat. They're decomposing, becoming one with the soil again. They have some hickory shells right here. Somebody's been feasting on the hickory. This is a great indicator of older trees, old growth. Hickory take a long time to grow and develop in an area. So do oak trees. Not seeing any acorns yet, but plenty of hickory. You can still see a few pine trees left in the forest, but mostly you're seeing hickory and other deciduous trees in here.